Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature in Unreal Engine 5 called the 3D modeling. Now, before in Unreal Engine 4, there's really not a way to model things in Unreal Engine 4 in Engine. You probably have to go to DCC like Maya, 3ds Max, and then Blender, and then bring stuff in to Unreal Engine 4. Well, with Unreal Engine 5, they actually added a modeling feature. Now, this is not going to replace any DCC out there, at least not yet, but it's just really cool for Epic to actually introduce some kind of modeling or editing in Engine. You know, this whole thing is really starting to remind me of DaVinci Resolve when I switched over in 2013, you know, like they are trying to make a software with everything in it, a one-stop shop, and to me, Unreal Engine 5 and Epic Games is trying to do the same thing. We're going to put everything in this software so you don't have to go anywhere else. What we're gonna do is take a look at this new mode right here and there's the modeling editing mode. Now there's a couple of things you can do here. Like I said, you can create boxes here now. You can start, you know, adding boxes. You can start modeling things and deforming things and stuff like that. If you scroll down right here, I'm gonna make this bigger. And you're gonna see all of these options now beforehand all we had was the create button right here which you know i can create a cube sphere cylinders cone and plane and that's pretty much it but now with the new editing mode you have now all of these freaking amazing toys in your possession look at all of this stuff it's a lot of good stuff and now additionally the mega scan assets are compatible with this editing mode so you're not stuck anymore with the shapes of the mega scan assets that you download from bridge or quixel which is really cool so you don't have to go outside unreal engine 4 to edit stuff and then bring it back in you can now do all of that here so i know i dropped a couple of boxes in there now we don't have any teapots in here so that's good you can make a donut if you want if i click on this you can make a giant donut put a bunch of donut in front of this dragon so he can eat because he's hungry so if i go to mega scan i think this project has a couple of uh, assets already built in and um, let's check out this banana here I'm gonna drag and drop the banana in there and I'm gonna scale this up 50 so you can see it better you know what let's do 80 you know what let's do 100 let's make this a really big banana for the dragon here so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this here and I'm gonna go ahead and move this up this W like that and now we can see this banana everybody loves a banana right so we're gonna take a look at this banana and we're gonna use the new editing model editing mode to really change the shape of this banana so to do that all you have to do is click on the banana scroll down and you have a couple of options here for your deform you can do uh, offset a warp you can do a lattice now this is really cool this lattice option right here so you can see it's going to create some points for me to mess around with. So if I select some of that points up top, I can actually start messing around with this. So if I go, and this is really slow because of, you all know what happened. So bear with me if it's slowing down. But now I can actually change the shape of this banana all in engine. And that is something that we were not able to do in Unreal Engine 4. I mean, look at this. I can twist this banana obviously you still have to be very careful as far as your texture goes because if you bend it too hard uh you're not gonna get that same exact texture and you might actually warp your uh, banana here so as you can see right there i'm twisting it around uh, this is crazy i mean you're probably looking at this as like wow this is really stupid but this is just the beginning you know like pretty soon people are going to start modeling and texturing in quixel all in engine because as you all know bridge is right here Pretty soon they're gonna put Mixer in there too. You know, you got everything is gonna be one stop shop. So that is so cool that you can do this all in engine. I know I'm nerding out over stupid stuff, but man, <laughs> this is really awesome. So let me go back in there so I can actually show you the effect it's doing whenever I press uh, accept here. Because I actually have to uh, accept this to, ch to make the changes that I did to this bananas. Everybody loves a banana. I love bananas, man. Bananas are amazing so i'm gonna go just bend this like crazy way so i'm gonna accept it and it's gonna take a minute for it to load there you go and now we have this bent bananas look at this is it not that looks amazing additionally if you have a groom asset one of the modeling features here is the generating of a helmet so let's go to a content we're gonna go to meta humans i have vivian in here i'm pretty sure from our last tutorial i'm gonna drag and drop vivian beside this banana Okay, and let's go ahead and zoom in. 
Now I don't actually need Vivian for this, but I do need uh, her hair. So I'm gonna go to the hair right here and scroll down. I'm gonna find where that hair is and I'm gonna drag and drop it to the scene. So now we can actually see her hair. Now what's cool is you can actually generate a helmet using the modeling tab as well. Now, why would you want a helmet? Well, as you can see around me, there are a lot of rocks. You don't want to trip and then hit your head. So to create a helmet from groom assets, all you have to do is click that groom asset and click on helmet. Look at this. This is so cool. And it's going to generate a helmet right here. Let's go ahead and accept that. And as you can see, just like that, we have now a helmet. I know it's messing up the groom assets look at that it's just messing it up but that's okay this is just beta, uh, this is just beta phase so what i'm going to do is actually bind this to vivian here so it's going to be really cool okay, so what i'm going to do is attach this to vivian's head so i'm going to right click attach to and i'm just going to do viv okay i'm going to go right here and where where did it go okay so now and i'm going to go reset this and now as you can see she is now wearing that helmet now i can also change the color of that helmet if you want to get fancy. There's just a couple of materials in here that are preloaded. Look at that. Now she looks like she's ready to go um, skydiving or something like that, you know? So you do have that options now. And I think, honestly, I think this is more for like, if you're creating like a mobile game that you can't really have, uh, you know, amazing groom asset you can create something from like you know sims one or something like that so you can change this material into something like a hair color and now you can have this character into your in your mobile game or something like that it's not really because we don't want her to get hurt but yeah that is pretty much just a little preview of the new modeling mode in unreal engine 5 it is super cool that we do have now a modeling mode in engine